38, and stood at his feet. She comes in, stood at his feet behind him, and began to wash his feet with tears. So she, first she came in, but then apparently she just fell at his feet. She begins to wash his feet with her tears. So she begins to weep because of Jesus. Jesus had touched this woman's life. I don't know how many of you have ever experienced this with Jesus. Um, but sometimes when you, you could just think of him, what he's done for you personally, your experiences with him, he will make you experience what this woman was experiencing. Now, this woman was known as a sinner. So, this is the interesting thing about this story here. But whatever it is, her heart was touched. She was overwhelmed with Jesus. How many of you want to want to be overwhelmed with Jesus. I can't I can't tell you how many times when I'm, I might be just be talking about him or thinking about him or many times when I was in the seats, you know, listening to the preachers preach and the word would get so big, you know, so deep about Jesus and I'd find myself just weeping and just having a good old weeping time, you know, sometimes just on TV, you know, watching a lot of times, watching Benny Hinn, you know, and seeing when people are, are coming and getting touched by Jesus, getting healed, and I'll find this happening to me. Just begin, and tears just fall, and just weeping. Not of sadness, but where you, he just overwhelms you. And this is what was happening to this woman. I'm telling you, when you think about him, when you trust in him, when you spend time with him, when you're reading his word, when you spend time praying, oh, you're gonna you're gonna end up having this experience where he's gonna just overwhelm you. You're gonna forget about everything. You're just gonna break down and just begin to weep. Um, I'll never forget one time I was sharing this, you know, because the Lord wants me to share this. I, I went with my old pastor to a meeting with many other pastors and apostles and prophets. It was a meeting that. Apostle John Eckhart was having four pastors. My pastor wanted me to come because I, I, I came with him. You know, I was an uh, associate pastor. And we were in this meeting, a special meeting. It was all like, uh, it was like uh, a meeting with food and stuff. And they were showing a presentation about people from other countries. And while we're, while we're watching um, this video presentation that they did. And it was showing about, now I remember it was about the Jesus Day that was going to happen all over the world where people were going to walk the streets in parades. It was like a Jesus Day parade. And they were showing what happened in the previous years or something. And they were showing clips of these countries far out there, you know, this one looked like it could have been like Vietnam or something like that, but or Cambodia or something. And when they showed, oh, like it was hundreds or maybe thousands, could have been hundreds of these people, and they had the big banners, you know, like with the parade and a, and a crowd, it just said Jesus, you know. And I saw them walking, and it just touched me, and I was overwhelmed. You know, we're, we're sitting in the room there, downtown, you know, in a hotel. And it just touched me. I couldn't help it. I just began to weep. <laughs> I was so touched to see, because they were showing a clip here from this country, and then another clip from this country, and they were all marching. It was like the March for Jesus or something. March for Jesus, yeah. And right away, it seemed like I just couldn't take too much of it. And I was overwhelmed to see people loving Jesus all over the world. And I just began to weep and weep and weep, you know. And I'm sitting, you know, I'm sitting not too far from, from 
Apostle uh, John Eckhart, which was over the whole thing. You know, he had like a head table. We're sitting not too far. <laughs> and so everyone can see me just bawling, you know. But everyone else is carrying on like nothing. And they were just explaining about the video, you know. I must have wept for about a good 15, 20 minutes right there. <laughs> yeah, and so, but, but, you know, all in all, it didn't matter to me, like, what people were thinking about me. I mean, these were all preachers anyway. <laughs> I don't know what they were thinking. Maybe some of them said, man, you know, maybe some of them didn't understand, but I, I would hope to think all of them understood what was going on with me. That I was overwhelmed with Jesus, you know. And now this woman began to weep. Just look at this word weeping. I think I remember. Look, to sob. It means to wail aloud. It's not to silently. See, there's another word weep, which means rather to cry silently. But this one, no. This one is to be wailed, to wail aloud. So she is, she's crying. She can't help it. She's sobbing. So much tears. They're falling on Jesus' feet, and she's now she's taking her hair and wiping the tears from her feet and kissed his feet. Now she got overtaken with emotion. She begins to kiss his feet. And anointed them with the ointment. She breaks open this box. You know, here she is sobbing and weeping, kissing his feet. And she got this ointment and she's okay, let me. And then she begins to take the ointment from the box and anoint his feet with the ointment. Now she came to Jesus. Here's the thing. She came to Jesus. But look at the attitude of the Pharisee. Now when the Pharisee which had been in him sought, he spake with it within himself. This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that toucheth him, for she is a sinner. He said this in himself, but Jesus heard what he said in his mind. His attitude was, huh, if Jesus was really something with God, he would know that this woman is a sinner that's touching him. In other words, first of all, that Pharisee had nothing in himself that would have drawn this, this woman to him. And if she did try to come to him for help, he probably would have rejected her with that attitude. 